Greetings, brethren. I would like to uh, share this uh, article with you and uh, read down through it. And uh, this article is called uh, Worship of the Virgin, the Queen of Heaven. And uh, yeah, I know I already posted a link to this article in one of my videos, my older videos, but I would like to uh, connect it to something that I, shocking I read in the, in the catechism Catholic Catechism that uh, about the, the worship of Mary. So I would like to connect um, uh, the mystery of Babylonian religion, the uh, religions, and connect that to uh, the virgin the virgin worship of the Catholic Church. Now, now this is uh, in Daniel two the. The interpreter the dream, Nebuchadnezzar's dream, and uh, this is uh, basically world history. The the, the reign of the uh, of the world empires. Um, first, you have Babylonian Empire, uh, Persian Empire, Greek Greece Empire, and the Roman Empire, and the the, the divided kingdoms. But also the, the the mystery of Babylonian religion has crept in, trickled down throughout the empires, and uh, so that, that's what I'm saying that the, the mystery of Babylonian religion has uh, tagged along and mixed in um, in in these other empires, so. Well, let's get to it. This, uh, this article, Worship the Virgin, the Queen of the Heaven. Now, the, the, the virgin worship, uh, you know, it trickles down to, down to um, the, the worship of virgin and the Queen of the Heaven uh, trickle down through, through the ages. So let, let's get to it. And... Uh, read down for this part. The Babylonian religion started at the time of Tower, the Tower of Babel, Babel. It's called the religion of Baal. Baal came from the name Baal Zabab, which is named for Satan. One of the prominent things in Baal worship is their worship of goddesses. The Baal religion believed in many gods and that god was also a woman, the virgin, and in particular, the queen of heaven was looked at, uh, looked to as a goddess. The constellation Virgo was known as a female deity, the beautiful virgin, who was, was worshiped by the ancients. Virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac. Virgo is the sun sign of, the, of astrology. Astrology's connection with Baal and goddess worship are some of the reasons why God is so strongly against astrology. Uh, stated in Isaiah 40, 47, 13. The female deity Ishtar of Babylon was a, a Baal high priestess. She was also known as the virgin who was worshipped. She had the title, the queen of heaven, and was known as the goddess of fertility. In Baal, they had many temple priestesses who served as temple prostitutes. Having sex with a temple prostitute was part of Baal worship. Ishtar was known as the goddess of love, war, fertility, and sensuality. In the Babylonian temple, she, she was looked to as the divine personification of the planet Venus. Ishtar's cult involved sacred, pros, uh, sacred prostitution because sexual immorality was a part of their religion. In her youth, it is said that the goddess Ishtar had loved Tammuz, the sun god of the Baal, Baal religion. Acts 12.4 refers to the winter solstice celebration. It was at this time of the year we know as Easter, when Ishtar, the virgin queen of heaven, was celebrated 
winter solstice was the time of year when there was the greatest sexual immorality because this immorality was a part of the worship to Ishtar. A winter solstice is still a major religious holiday. This is the reason that the springtime holiday celebrations are to this day when the most party partying and sexual Im sexual immorality goes on. The worship of the Virgin, the Queen of Heaven, is an ancient practice which started thousands of years before Christ was born. Worship of this pagan Queen of Heaven is talked about in the scriptures. Jeremiah 44, 25, burnt incense to the Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven, Ishtar, has been identified with, a Phoenician, with the Phoenician goddess, Estar, and the Semitic goddess, Ashtaroth. Uh, Ashtoreth, the goddess Isis of Egypt, and the goddess of Greece was Aphrodite, and the goddess Venus of Rome, and the goddess, these goddesses in these different nations are actually the same Babylonian goddess Ishtar, but they were just given different names in different nations. They are all called the Virgin, the Queen of Heaven. The goddess Ashtaroth is talked about in the Bible. Ashtaroth was also called the queen of heaven. Ashtaroth also was a mother figure. She was portrayed as the cradling, portrayed cradling male. Ashtaroth was known as the goddess of lust. Israel become, became corrupted. Israel, so Israel, became corrupted by worshiping the sun god, Temuz, and the queen of heaven, Ashtaroth, Ezekiel 8, 14. Judges 10, 6, the children of Israel, this is quoted from scripture itself, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and served Balaam and Ashtaroth, and forsake the Lord. First Samuel 7, 13, and Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, if, you, if ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only. 1 Samuel 12, 10. And they cried unto the Lord and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken the Lord, and served Balaam and Ashtaroth. But now deliver us from out of the hand of our enemies, and we shall serve thee. Adultery, fornication, and prostitution are the integral part of Baal worship. Jeremiah 5 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no gods. When I fed them to the full, they then committed adultery. And some of themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. The Baal religion was exported from Babylon to Egypt. In Egypt, Isis was all, also called the Virgin, the Queen of Heaven. Isis was a prostitute high priestess in the Temple of Baal in Egypt. Egyptians thought, thought it was Isis who put the pharaohs into power. Isis was also worshipped as a patroness of nature and magic. She was worshipped throughout the Greek and Roman world. Asheroth was Canaanites, a virgin queen of heaven, who was their goddess of fertility, love, war, and exactly like Ishtar and Isis, First Kings, uh, First Kings chapter eleven, verses five and six, um, chapter. Uh, verse 33 and 2 Kings 23:13. The Egyptians, the Egyptians had Ashtaroth, the title of Queen of Heaven and Lady of Heaven. The Babylonians and Assyrians called her Ashtar, worshipped uh, and worshipped her as the goddess of fertility and love. Jeremiah 7 verses 18 and 19. And the Israelites worshipped Ashtaroth when Solomon was old and he promoted the Queen of Heaven 
the, the promoted the worship of the Queen of Heaven, Asherah, first Kings 11, 5. Later, Josiah destroyed the shrines built to her, 2 Kings 12, uh, 23, 13. It, in Islam, Muhammad's daughter, Fatma, so you see here, Islam is just nothing but uh, pagan religion. You see that in in the in their flag or in their symbol as the moon and stars. So the, the moon, you know, the, it's nothing but um, Ishtar, Babylonian, or the sun, uh, the, the moon was crowned. Uh, Ishtar wore a moon as a crown. So it's nothing but the, the, the pagan Babylonian religion mixed in uh, with uh, corrupted uh, Old Testament stories and Gnostic story, uh, not and Gnostic writings, Gnostic stories. So the, in Islam, Muhammad's daughter Fatima, Fatima is called the Queen of Heaven. It's interesting to note that the Catholic churches are named Our Lady of Fatima. The worship of the Virgin and the Queen of Heaven entered Christianity under Constantine, a sun worshiper. Constantine gave the great Roman temples and shrines of the Queens of Heaven and Goddesses uh, of Fortuna and Diana to Roman, Rome's Christian churches and had these pagan temples Christianized them by renaming them after Mary. And some Christian churches are called Notre Dame, a French word for means Our Lady. Notre Dame or Our Lady are applied to Fortuna, Diana, Madonna, Isis, Ishtar, Fatima, Tima, Mary, and other goddesses. It's not like it, it, it was not until the fourth century under Constantine that Mary began to be looked, up, looked upon with goddess status and the people started worshiping her and offering cakes, her cakes and at shrines to her just like was done to Ishtar, Isis, Isis uh, Ashtaroth and others that held the title of Queen of Heaven, Jeremiah 44, 19. And when he, and when we burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drinks offering to her? Mariology did not become an official doctrine in of the Roman Church until 431 A.D. It is, it is interesting. Mariology started at Ephesus. Ephesus, Turkey, is the city which have been the headquarters of pagan goddess Diana, Acts 19, verses 27 to 28, and verses 34 to 35. Nimrod, Noah's great-grandson, was the founder of Baal religion. Nimrod's wife was Seremus. Uh, Seremus was supposed to have received Tumas after Nimrod died. So, Sir. Samaras, Samamaras <laughs> told everyone that Tasmu's birth was a miracle because she said she did not conceive him natural from a man, but that Tasmu was conceived by the sun god. The sun god was a part of bear worship. Exodus 8 16. Samar. Samaramis, Samaramis said because of this she conceived Tammuz as a virgin and she told everyone that Tammuz was the sun god. This shows that shows when and where the phrases the, the virgin, the queen of heaven, and the mother of God and Madonna originated. It would be impossible for Samaramis to be a virgin because she had already been married to Nimrod and also served as a temple prostitute. Saint Seramus before virgin, Saint Samaramus, Samaramus, bore Tammuz as a virgin. 
and Tammuz was the sun god, was nothing but Satan counterfeiting what God was going to do. He was a Mary to bring God's only begotten son, Jesus Christ, John 3, 16, into the world. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost, not by the sun god. So, Samaramus claim was fraudulent, would have made Tasmus the son of Satan himself. Samaramus was also known as Baalite, a name that was derived from Baal. English Baalite means my lady, my lady in Latin, me domina, which became Madonna. Constantine transferred these pagan titles to Mary, so the title of the Virgin, the Queen of Heaven, My Lady, Madonna, and the Mother of God that were given to Mary was not Christian titles, but titles derived from Baal goddesses. Uh, Interrogating goddess worship with the worship of Mary uh, of Jesus greatly confused and corrupted Christianity. And the goddess inclusion opened the door for Christianity to be accepted through the world. Incredible that it is incredible Mary, the mother of Jesus, a godly and virtuous woman, was given Ceramus uh, Samaramus titles, seeing that Ceramus was a prostitute and was Baal's queen of heaven. Baal was the enemy of God. Mary's, Mary's son, Jesus, came to this world for the purpose of of destroying the works of, of the devil, 1 John 3, 8. Mary would have never joined in the veil religion, which was um, adversarial to her son and behind his crucifixion. Perhaps the greatest example of continuation of veil today is the practice of worshiping statue of Mary holding a baby Jesus in her, uh, holding baby Jesus in her arms. This is nothing but, but copying the statue of Ceramus holding Tasmus in her arms. In the pagan religions, the mother was worshipped as more, as more, as much or more than her son. Maybe many astrologers cannot tell the difference between the statue of Babylonian mother and child and that of Mary and her child. How could this happen? It is unbelievable that Mary, Jesus, Jesus Christ's mother, now have been given the titles the virgin, the, the queen of heaven, the mother of God, my lady, and she is now prayed to worship, and worship exactly like the queen of heaven, Ashtoreth, and Ashtoreth of Baal was worshipped. The virgin and the queen of heaven spread at the time when God confused the language of Babel, uh, at Babel, or at Babel, the Tower of Babel. The, peop the people there scattered throughout the earth, taking with them their Baal religion. This is why sexual immorality has been worldwide because it has part been part of the doctrines of Baal and done in the name of religion, 1 Timothy 4.1. Actually, there's just one queen of heaven who was given different names, Virgo, Ishtar, Isis, Ceramus, Ashtaroth, Aphrodite, and Venus, etc. All these ancient queens of heaven were temple prostitutes. It is indisputable that Mary was not a prostitute. The book of Revelation speaks about the great horror, Revelation 17, 1 to 6, that came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I'll show unto thee the judgment of the great Lord that sitteth on upon many waters, with whom the kings of earth have committed fornication. The heavens of the earth have been made drunk with the, with the wine of her fornication. She, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. I saw a woman set upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven hands and seven horns, and the one who was rayed in purple of scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was, was a name written, 
Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Revelation 18, 1 to 10. And, and after these things, I saw another angel come up, down up from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened and his glory, with his glory, and cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, and become a habitation of devils, and a hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, the kings of the earth committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. I have heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. They have not received uh, that he that ye that ye receive not her plagues, for her sins have reached upon reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities, rewarded her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment sorrow given her. As she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God with her, who judgeth her. And the king of the earth, and the kings of the earth, who have commanded fornication, and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for, the, uh, for her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon and the mighty city, that mighty city, for one hour is thy judgment come. The reason the virgin, the queen of heaven, has been accepted throughout the world is that Mary just taking the place of, God, of the goddess the people were already worshiping. The people really didn't have to change except the semantics. Their goddess just renamed Mary. This is why Mary is worshiped throughout the world. She's called the Queen of Heaven, the, Vir the Virgin, the Virgin, Madonna, and is literally looked to as a goddess. When Christianity first spread throughout the world, it strongly resisted because it was a threat to worship the Queen of having a, an adultery. Acts 19.27, so that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worship. Yes. Goddess worship became Krishnized when Mary was given the goddess status, and knew corrupted Christian leaders to, of that age realized they could make many converts of the pagans that they made Mary a goddess. Making statues of Mary would make it now difficult for Christians to preach against idolatry like the Apostle Paul had done. The adult, adultation of the pagans gave their mother, mother goddess slowly was transferred to Mary. This made Christianity acceptable. Adultation of Mary and adultery was not part of the early Christian faith. Earthly, early Christianity was centered on Jesus. So that's the that's as much as I'm going to read here. Um, so I'll get to uh, what I read about the Mary worship of uh, that's in the, the Catholic Catechism. Now this is only to demonstrate the the, the kind of shocking that uh, they don't don't only see that she had a plan in 
a, a co-redeemer and had a plan, uh, had a part in uh, redemption and uh, redemption and uh, salvation. But uh, they they also see her as um, to, they also see her as like Jesus himself, put on the same level as Jesus himself. So, anyways, so this is. Um, so that's the part, but anyways, line 963, since the Virgin Mary's role in the mystery of Christ, the spirit has been treated as, it is fitting now to consider a place and the mystery of the church. The Virgin Mary is acknowledged and honored as being truly the mother God and the redeemer and of the Redeemer. She is clearly the mother of the members of Christ, since she was by her charity joined in bringing about the birth of the believers in the church who are members of its head. Mary, mother of Christ, mother of the church. Mary's motherhood with regard to the church, wholly united with her son. Mary's role in the church is inseparable from her union with Christ and follows directly and flows directly from it. This union of the mother with the son in the work of salvation is made manifest from the time of Christ's virginal conception unto, unto his death. It may manifest above all, uh, above all at the hour of his passion. Thus the Blessed Virgin, Mary, uh, Blessed Virgin advanced in her pilgrimage of faith faithfully preserved in her union with her son onto the cross. There she stood in keeping with the divine plan, enduring with her only begotten son. The intensity of her suffering joined herself with a sacrifice in her mother's heart and lovely consenting to the immolation of this victim born of her to be given by the same Christ Jesus died on the cross as a mother to his disciple with these words, woman, behold your son. After her son's ascension, Mary aided the beginnings of the church by her prayers. And her associated with the apostles and several women. We also see Mary by her prayers, imploring the gift of the spirit who already overshadowed the Annunciation. Also in our assumption, Finally, the Immaculate Virgin, preserved free from all stain of original sin. So either Immaculate Virgin, Immaculate Conception, but also preserved, she was sinless, free from the stain of original sin. She was sinless, just like Jesus. When the course of her earthly life was finished, was taken up body and soul and in heavenly glory. So, <laughs> preserved free stain of the original sin, she was sinless. And she was taken up body and soul. So she ascended just like Jesus Christ. That's what they say. She, she was uh, Mary was sinless and ascended just like Jesus Christ, exalted by the Lord as queen over all things. So queen, so queen of the church, queen of heaven. So that she might be more fully conformed to her son, the Lord of Lords, Conquer, uh, conquer of sin and death. The subject of the Blessed Virgin is a singular participation in her son's resurrection and participation of the resurrection of other Christians. In giving birth, you kept your virginity in, in your dom, 
nation. You did not leave the world, O Mother of God, but you joined to the source of life. You conceived, loving God, by your prayers where will deceive, deliver our souls from death. She is our mother in the order of grace. By our complete adherence to the Father's will, to his, to his Son's redemptive work, to every prompting of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary is the Church's model of faith and charity. Thus she is a preeminent and wholly unique member of the Church. Indeed, she is, is the explanatory explain, of the realization of the church and a role in relation to the church and all humanity goes still further in holy single way she super, co cooperates by her obedience faith hope burning charity and the savior's work of restoring supernatural life to souls for this reason she is a mother to us in the order of grace this motherhood of mary is the order of grace continues unter, un, uninterruptedly from the consent which she loyally gave at, at the Annunciation, and which she sustained without wavering beneath the cross until the eternal familiar of the elect. Taken up to heaven, she did not lay aside the saving of us, by, but by manifold intercession continues to bring gifts of eternal salvation. So, gifts of sal eternal salvation. Therefore, the Blessed Virgin is invoked in the church under the titles of Advocate, Helper, Benefactors, Mediatrix. So she is invoked <laughs> and give gifts of salvation, eternal salvation. She was sinless and ascended into heaven and is invoked and gives gifts of eternal salvation. So perverse. This is perverse. Mary's function as a, 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 as as the mother of men into many no way obscures or uh, diminishes the unit meditation of Christ, but rather shows its power. But the blessed Virgin's solitary influence on men flows forth from the superabundance of the merits of Christ. Rest on the mediation. It depends entirely on it and draws all its power from it. No creature could ever count it along with the no creature could ever be counted along with the incarnate word and redeemer. But just as the priesthood of Christ is shared in various ways, but ways by both by his ministers and the faithful, and as the one goodness of God is radiated in different ways among his creatures, so no creature could ever do this, uh, be counted along with the cart redeemer, other than Jesus, Jesus uh, other than Mary. Mary is the advocate, helper, and uh, co-redeemer, co-mediator, uh, mediator, which uh, is false, uh, is, is uh, perverse. There's only one mediator between God and man as that man, Christ Jesus. So in your meditation reader does not exclude, but rather gives rise to manifold cooperation, which is but sharing in this one source. Devotion to the Blessed Virgin, all generations will be blessed. The, the church's devotion to the Blessed Virgin is intrinsic to Christian worship. The church rightly honors the Blessed Virgin with special devotion. From the most ancient times, the Blessed Virgin has been honored with the title of Mother of God, to whose protection the faithful fly in all their dangers and needs. This very special devotion differs essentially from adoration, which is given to the incarnate word, essentially to the Father and the Holy Spirit, the great Father's fosters this adoration. The liter uh, liturgical feast dedicated to Mother God, Mary in the prayer, such as the rosary, and the epitome of the whole gospel expressed devotion to the Virgin Mary.
Mary Esther taught icon of the church. After speaking of the church, her origins, origin, mission, to destiny, we can find no better way to clean by looking to Mary and her uh, contemplate what the church already in her mystery on her own pilgrimage of faith, but she, she will be in the homeland at the end of the journey. There is uh, there in the glory of the most holy undivided trinity in the communion of all saints in the church awaited by one she venerates as the mother of her Lord and, the, and, her, and as her own mother. In the meantime, the mother of Jesus in the glory of what she possesses the body is so in the meantime, the mother of Jesus, in the glory which she possesses, in body and soul in heaven, so body and soul in heaven, is the image and beginning of the church as it is perfected in the world to come. Likewise, she shines forth on earth until the day of the Lord shall come, to shine certain hope and comfort help her people of God. So I just wanted to uh, connect that with uh, the Babylonian religion the worship of virgin and the title of queen of heaven that uh, kind of trickled down throughout the history and uh, cloaked it mystery and uh, cloaked in, under different mas uh, masks and title uh, names, uh, figures and everything else. And now the Catholic church is the Babylonian, the Babylonian religion is the house of the Babylonian religion. Can't, you can't deny that, that, that they uh, do worship the virgin. Uh, they, they do uh, practice virgin worship as the Babylonian religion does too. So this is what I wanted to, to show you, to read that and connect it to the, to the merry worship of the Catholic Church. And so, uh, so I hope this helps you, give you some insight, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, and take care.